Hello, this is Kimber Donkey, mindful food and fitness coach, today talking to you about preventing cramps. So this is a question I've gotten repeatedly from friends and clients, um, either exercise-induced cramps or even while they're sleeping, cramps in the calves are super common. And also women, especially as they get a little older, tend to experience a lot of foot and leg cramps. Um, during and around exercise. So what can you do? You might have heard of eating a banana, right? Of getting your potassium up to prevent cramps. Well, that's only part of the story. And frankly, we can go way beyond being a banana to get our uh, potassium up. So what are some better sources of potassium than this guy? Not that this guy's terrible, but spinach, interestingly, has more potassium as does sweet potato and white potato. Now there's even more to the story about preventing cramps through your nutrition. And that is you got to take a look at the upper left corner of the periodic table. So if you're a chemistry nerd, take a peek up there or try to remember back to high school chemistry days and think about the elements that are up in that corner. One of them is sodium, of course. So you can help yourself get a little extra sodium around workouts by just adding a pinch of sea salt into your water. It doesn't taste bad, I swear. Just use a pinch and it's way better than one of those sports drinks that gives you a lot of extra sugar and junk typically. So easy solution on the sodium. What else is up in that corner? Magnesium. Magnesium, we've got the avocado, awesome solution. And once again, spinach coming in, a nice and high in magnesium. Finally, calcium is important and also in that upper corner on the table. For calcium, I would like to recommend for those who eat fish, canned sardines or fresh sardines as well. So any small fish where you get to eat the bones. This is the same thing uh, present in canned salmon. So when you eat the bones of the fish, once again, I swear they're really mild. They're really not like a giant crunchy thing that you have to consume. It's really a tiny thing in here, uh, but it gives you awesome calcium, as do nuts and seeds. So I brought along some chia seed here, and these guys give you 20% of your daily calcium. So you don't have to just resort to dairy for calcium. There are many, many other sources. Uh, that's about it for preventing cramps with food. So next time that you're thinking, oh my God, I need a banana, think a little outside the box. Remember, you can get some calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium, and all of those will help you with a little bit better muscle functionality and smoothing out the potential for cramps. Thanks again for watching. This has been Kimber Donkey, encouraging you to go beyond a banana and take a second to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. Cheers.